What's up guys, today I'm back for another season submission video. Today we're going to be taking a look at almost everything submitted for season 19, which will be themed around winter. I'm going to rate the items based on how likely I think they are to make it into the game. Now remember, it's based on how likely I think they are to win. So if I give something a 1 out of 10, this doesn't mean I think it's trash. This just means I don't think it has a high likelihood of winning. Also, a quick note of clarification, anything overtly Christmas or other holiday themed will be rated pretty low because the devs don't want to add anything super specific to a holiday. Just make sure to keep that in mind. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. First up, we're going to take a look at the miscellaneous stuff submitted for the season. First things first, we have the cute penguin drift effect. I think I'll give this one a 3 out of 10. They don't add drifts, and this one isn't really that high quality to warrant an addition, unfortunately. Next, we have the Frostbite tire sticker from Benjamites, aka Puga. I would give this one a 6 out of 10 because while we did not get a tire last season, we do get tires rather frequently. This tire has 300 upvotes, which especially for this season is actually a pretty good amount for a non-vehicle item. And it looks pretty good. So yeah, six sounds about right. Okay, next up from Ocean 1 XS, the sleigh bell horn. I would give this a 5 out of 10. Really, I can see them going either way with this one. If they do end up adding it, they're probably going to trim it down because 10 seconds is just too long for a horn. Yeah, that's about it for this submission. All right, from Klutzy Pear, we have the Snow Tires. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. I do think it has a good chance. It has a lot of support, over 500 upvotes. Problem is, it might not scale that well with the current tire decals. And I just feel like I have some hesitation with this because it is very different that they might not want to add it because of that. But I do think it has a good chance because it looks really good, fits the theme very well, and has a lot of support. Last one we have is the Aurora Drift from Puga. Again, I don't know if they would add this because they don't add drifts. I don't think they've ever added drifts as season prizes. But out of all the drifts we've seen, this is definitely the best one. We'll give this one a 4 out of 10. Now let's talk about the furniture submitted for the season. We're going to start off on a pretty high note with the Aurora Chandelier furniture item from That's Life. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. I think it is very well made. It has almost a thousand upvotes. The people want to see it added. It's probably going to make it into the next season. Congratulations, That's Life. You may have your first win on your hands. Next will be the Museum Snow Globe from Speed Queen. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Whenever people make small models of stuff as furniture, it usually never gets added. And especially for this one, I feel like there's a lot of missed opportunities here. It should have had a snowfall particle effect, I think. Having a weirdly proportioned badger on top of the museum is just really strange. It does have a good bit of support, which that does bring up the rating a little bit, but I do not have much confidence in this one. I just think that there were some missteps while making it that would hold it back a little bit, and judging based on past precedents when it comes to like furniture, I don't really think they're going to add this one. But next here, we have a guaranteed winner on our hands with the JB Pole. It puts Serval Enjoyer's stuff to shame, which is something I never thought I would hear myself say. Easiest 10 out of 10 of my life. Anyway, next thing we have is the Winter Piano from Dr. Radium. I would give this one a 7 out of 10. I think it is a very good design. I like all the touches it has, like the snowmen are cute. It's just that we already have a piano created by Dr. Adium, so I don't know if they would add this one as well. Compared to other furniture we've seen, this has a very good chance. Next, the snow machine. Oh my goodness, it's no good, Nick. I can't believe they're going to add you to jailbreak. I would give this one a 8 out of 10. I think this has a very good likelihood of being added. It's unique to furniture. We haven't really had anything like this one. It pops out. It has a cool effect. I think this is what the devs are looking for for when they are searching for furniture to add. Then we have the Arctic Snow Globe from Maze XMS. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10, unfortunately. I do not see them picking this one. It's just very bland, I think. Like, 
there are penguins there, but they're very hard to spot. Like, really, if you're in-game, you, the only way you can truly appreciate the penguins is if you're in first person. And I don't know how many jailbreak players have that kind of mindset when it comes to appreciating furniture. And like I mentioned, they don't really add small models of stuff. So I do not think they're going to pick this one. Then we've got the sled table furniture from That's Life. This is a very well-made item that fits the theme really well while also working as an effective apartment decoration. It's got some nice details without being too overly complex and it has a good amount of support. I feel very confident that this one will get picked, so I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Then we have the iceberg installation from Denault. You know how I talk a lot about good concepts that are poorly executed? Well, this is a case of the reverse. I would think this is a bad concept, but it was actually executed really well. It's a simple idea, but it fits the theme pretty nicely, and it's a very visually pleasing wall decoration. I think this would work really well in a lot of apartments. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think this has a very good chance of winning. Lastly, from the real Staforp, Stop, Stap, sorry, I don't know how to say this guy's name. We have the Ski Kit Furniture Item. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10. I don't think they're going to pick this one, although it does have a good amount of support. The devs have never really picked any item racks submitted for previous seasons, so I doubt they're going to choose this one. Overall, when it comes to furniture, I predict that the Aurora Chandelier and the Sled Table will be added. Now we're going to discuss the rims submitted for the season. First up, from Mephi Joso, friend of the channel, we have the Penguin Face Rims. I'll go with a 4 out of 10. Really, this rim isn't that creative. It feels like a rim design that you could just find from a safe, but they just put a penguin on it. So not really anything that sticks out about it that makes it super winter themed. I don't think they'll pick this one either. All right, next from Odd Cream 878, we have the Snow Tiara Rims. I think I'll go with a 5 out of 10 on this one. It's very well made. Odd Cream is a very creative and talented person. And as his tumbleweed rims showed, he has a lot of really interesting ideas and converts them to rims in ways I would not expect. However, this doesn't come across as super winter themed except really for like some of the shards can be interpreted as like ice spikes but i don't know i feel like that's probably the biggest thing that holds it back but other than that i don't know i think it's really good i could see it going either way next from denold we have the shovels rim i actually quite like this one fun fact denold also created the sakura rims from season 15 which i also really like and think work really well as a rim you can see these ones are very similar in their style i think the upvote count is probably the biggest hurdle this submission has it only has 118 which isn't that much and we've seen stuff that has higher upvotes so unfortunately i don't have super high confidence in this one, but the upvote count does hold it back. I think I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Ooh, next up from Silent, we have the Frostburn Rims. I think I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. It fits the theme pretty well. It does have a good amount of support, a, a little on the lower side, but... I think it's still good enough when it comes to rims, and it's a unique idea. I like that it's transparent. I think it's pretty interesting. Hopefully, there would be player interest from Victory32323. We have the skier and snowboarder rims, so this is a two-for-one submission. They could pick either one. I like the idea behind this one, but it is very similar to the track toy rim. It does have a decent amount of support, but the similarity to track toy does hold it back. I think I'll I'll go with a 5 out of 10. I'll be a little generous on this one. I mean, if they did pick it, I, I would I would like it. I, I think this is a nice rim, but I definitely understand why they might not choose it. Okay, next from Pockin the 3rd, we have the Glacier Rims. Pockin the 3, more like Pockin the 3 out of 10. Sorry, Pockin. Better luck next time. Again, from the real Staforp, we've got the Copper Rims. Okay, first thing I need to ask is, what on earth does this have to do with the winter theme? Is it because things can rust in the winter? Even so, how does the name even connect with the rim itself? I'm gonna go with a 2 out of 10 on this one. It is a great looking rim. I would love to see this in game, but for the winter season, it just does not fit at 
all, unfortunately. Then from Magnifidude. Next from Yamels, we have the candy cane rim. I do think it kind of works. When If you were to tell me, make a rim from a candy cane, I would be like, how do you do that? But I think this is an interesting way to adapt it to a rim format but i don't think it is that strong and i don't think it has a super high likelihood it does have a good bit of support and it could be twisted to not be like christmas themed because candy canes are kind of a winter thing so maybe but i don't think there's a high likelihood this one will get picked so i would go with a five out of ten again from the real stuforp we have the snowy star rims I do have a good bit of confidence in this one because while it doesn't like super overtly show that it fits the theme, I do think it still works. Like it does look like it's a snowy star. And I think this is a very versatile rim where like it could fit on a car even outside of the theme. It has a good amount of support. So compared to the other rims, I definitely think this is a very strong contender. So I'll go with an 8 out of 10. Next, the peppermint rims i think i will go with the nine out of ten i think this probably out of all the rims we've seen has the strongest chance really i don't have much to say against it except that the peppermint stuff could be interpreted as being too christmasy but if they allow candy canes then this should be no problem it fits the theme well it has a lot of support so I think we're going to see this one added. Following that, we have the Frostbite Rims from Tomi Bomite. I think this will get a 4 out of 10. I think it's well made. It has a good bit of support, but it doesn't overtly fit the theme, I think. Though it is pointy and the devs might interpret that as being winter themed. But I don't have high confidence in this one. Last rims we've got are the Marshmallow Rims from Yamels. They'll get a 7 out of 10 from me. They have probably the most support out of any of the rims. It's just that the rim concept itself doesn't really make much sense because holding s'mores over the campfire is more of a summer thing, but it could still work. And like I said, it has a good bit of support, so I'm not ruling it out. Overall, none of the rims really stood out to me as guaranteed additions. However, the two that I think are most likely to get added are the Frostburn rims from Silent Polarization and the Peppermint rims from Huga. Spoiler alert, let's talk about the spoilers submitted for the season. First up, we have the Christmas light spoiler. Sorry, automatic 1 out of 10, nothing holiday themed will be added. Maybe Asimo is actually Scrooge and he just hates Christmas. All right, next we have the snow geyser wing from guest 515253617. I don't have high confidence in this one. I'll probably give it a three out of 10. I don't think it's even a good idea and it's not executed very well. Okay, next from Denold, we have the snow machine spoiler. I will give this one a 10 out of 10. I think this one will get picked for the next season. It has a lot of support. It fits the theme pretty well. It has particles, which you know the players like, so the devs will probably be more inclined to add it. I expect they'll pick this one. Next, we have the Snowplow spoiler from Sardarji. Now, personally, I like this more than the spoiler we just looked at. However, I think it's far less likely to make it in. I would give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's a good spoiler, but there's stuff that they're going to pick over this one. Next one from Ocean1XS is the Gift Bow spoiler. Right off the bat, I do have some concerns that this one might be too holiday related. I know it's very general, like all holidays have bows on their gifts, but during the winter, obviously it's going to be associated with Christmas. Subjectively though, I actually do like this one a lot. And it's another spoiler that I think really would work as a hood ornament. I just want them to add a category for hood ornaments because there's several spoilers like the Longhorn spoiler that would really work better as hood ornaments. I will give this one a 5 out of 10. It could go either way because I do think that the holiday connection is probably the biggest hurdle it has, but otherwise, I could see them picking this one. Next, the snowboard spoiler. I think I'll go with a 5 out of 10. Honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of this one, but I do think it has a decent chance, just not a super high likelihood because it doesn't have much support and it's not the flashiest. All right, next we have the frostbitten ring 
from Teal Prime. I feel like he just took a generic spoiler and slapped a few icicles on it. It's not very flashy. I don't think it really suits the theme that well. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. It doesn't have much support either. In that vein, we have the Frozen slash Icicle spoiler from Shadow Samurai. Now, I think this one works a bit better because it has far more icicles and they're much easier to see. I think this works much better. And I think the spoiler itself looks better. And this has a lot of support over 400 upvotes, which for the spoilers submitted this season is on the higher end. I think I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. I like how you can change the color of the icicles themselves, though I do think it would have been better if you could change the color of the spoiler, but that's just a personal preference. Then we have the tag along sled spoiler from Ocean 1 XS. This one also has a lot of support for the spoiler section. I will give this one a 7 out of 10. The biggest hurdle is the scaling aspect, but it's well made, has good support, so there is a good chance, but uh, I'm not fully sold on it. Next from Yamels, the Ski Wing. I'll give these a 9 out of 10. I think these work far better than the sled spoiler we looked at. They have a lot of support for spoilers, over 400 upvotes. They look very good. They seem to fit on cars pretty well. They have good customization, so I can see them getting added. All right, then we have the Iced Antlers from X07R. I think I'll go with the 6 out of 10 on this one. I think they do look pretty nice, and the customization does look quite good on this one. Biggest hurdle, in my opinion, is the low amount of upvotes, and I think the snowflake makes it look kind of strange. I think if the snowflake particle was removed, this would be much better. Lastly, the candy cane spoiler from Odd Cream. I'll give them a 2 out of 10. I don't think they're going to get added, and they're not great, though I honestly do kind of like them, and I think the customization works pretty well. In the next season, I expect to see the Ski Wing spoiler and the Snow Machine spoiler, and I could also see the Frozen Icicle spoiler winning, though this one might be a bonus prize or something like that. Next, let's talk about textures. First up, we have the Snowman texture from Dr. Radium. To BH, I'm not a big fan of this one. I understand the spots are meant to be the snowman buttons, but they just feel kind of weird. Like on first impression, I was like, what is this? Why, why do we have a cow skin for the season? I don't know. The scarf just doesn't fit very well on it. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Frankly, it just doesn't work very well, and it does not have much support. Again, from Thami Bombites, we have the frozen checkers texture. And right off the bat, I have to ask, how on earth did this get 500 upvotes? This is a blatant copy of Blue Pixel. It even has the same transition from a lighter color to a darker color. I genuinely have no clue as to how this got uploaded, and so, so many many people supported it. It has 500 upvotes. That has to account for something. I'll give it a 2 out of 10. It's not really winter themed in any way, and it is, in my opinion, one of the most blatant examples of plagiarism of previous items in the Jailbreak subreddit. Next, again, from Tom Bomb Meat, we have the Frostfire texture. So this is basically the same thing, except it's not pixelated, and there is actually some frost near the end. I think this one is better in that it suits the theme better, but it's still very similar to pre-existing textures. It looks a lot like the frost and the snowstorm textures in-game. Tommy, I think you need a little bit more originality with your texture creations. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll give these a 3 because it, it does fit the theme a bit more, but it is very similar to textures we already have. Next, from Harmonic Dust, we have the Raging Blizzard. I will give it an 8 out of 10. I think it looks really nice. It has a lot of upvotes. It's different enough while still fitting fitting the theme quite well. I'm just rating it an 8 out of 10 because there are a few other strong contenders for the skin. Then the Snow Leopard from Puga. I'll go with the 7 because compared to the other skins, it has lower support. It is still very good. For the penultimate texture, we have the Shattered Ice texture. I think it's very visually pleasing and it draws upon previous skins without coming across as like a absurd copy of them. We'll get an 8 out of 10 from me. Alright, lastly we have the Aurora Texture from Sardarji. This has a good bit of support. I actually really like this one. I'll give this one a 9 out of 10. Out of all the textures we've looked at, I think this one has the best chance of winning and I expect to see this one make it into the season. However, 
The textures here are pretty competitive, so I don't think it's a guarantee that this one will get added, but I think it has a very strong chance. Since it's unique, it's not just an ice slash frost texture, which we've gotten before. It looks very nice and it has a lot of support. Okay, now we've come to the section that everybody's been waiting for the vehicles first from talented hawk we have the snow melter i like this one a lot it looks pretty nice it looks like it could be a fun vehicle for a level 10 prize it doesn't feel that majestic like it would probably work better as a level 8 prize unfortunately they don't really do those anymore also it only has about 374 upvotes which while that is a good amount is still on the lower side when it comes to vehicle submissions i don't think they're going to pick this one but there is still a chance and it does look pretty good so i think i'll give it a 5 out of 10. Next we have the Nevada from The Real Stefor. This is not winter themed at all and the devs said they're not going to do what they did in season 7 where they added a car that didn't really fit the theme so I do not think they're going to pick this one even though it has 680 upvotes which is a lot. I think they're going to pick a more faithful vehicle that fits the theme better so I'll give this one a 2 out of 10. From VV Omega we have the Blizzard. Like the previous one this one does not fit the theme at all and it's not even as flashy and exciting as the one we just looked at so i don't think the devs would think that people would be interested in it so it gets a two out of ten next from kletzi pair we have the arctic one. Ooh, this is dope i like this one i will go with a eight out of ten for this one because i think it looks great i think it fits the theme very well it has a good bit of support there's just some cards they might pick over this one, so that's the biggest hurdle it has to face. From Rally Subby, we have the Senko Rally Car. 1 out of 10. I don't think this one will win. Next, we have the Pollen Hovercraft from Rally Subby. This looks like something out of Dune. I like it a lot. Sadly, this one also doesn't really fit the winter theme at all, though if they ever do another futuristic season, I would love to see this as the grand prize. I'll give this one a 1 out of 10. Next up, we have the Polaris from It's Morios. I like this car. It looks pretty nice, but for the winter theme, it I don't think they're going to pick it. So I will give it a 2 out of 10 because it does have high upvotes. Then we have the Polaris V8 from Plasmazilla. Right off the bat, I think I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I think this is very likely to get added. It has a lot of support. It is the most upvoted vehicle submission of the season. There are some potential drawbacks. So for one, it could be interpreted to be Christmas themed because it is red in presentation and it has golden skids but i think skids and sleds are a general winter thing they're not really restricted to a holiday the second thing is that some people might see it as like he just got a fast car and removed the wheels and put some skids on it so i do think there are potential drawbacks but they aren't really that major so I'm going to say 9 out of 10 for this one. I believe out of all the vehicles we're going to look at today, this one has the best chance of winning. Next from Puga, we have the Frost Crawler. I like this one a lot as well. It's very fun. This could also work as like a space themed vehicle. Like I could see this being used on Mars or something like that. I will give this one an 8 out of 10. I think it is very well made. It has a good amount of support, but... I think it has a lower likelihood of winning compared to other vehicles. Then from Pizza Rolls, we have the Ice Rammer. I think this one will get a 5 out of 10 from me, unfortunately. I do like this vehicle, but it has a lower amount of support, only 217 upvotes compared to other vehicle submissions. And I just don't think it's as good as other submissions, so I don't think this one will be chosen. Then from Yamels, we have the Polar. This is a funky looking vehicle. It's honestly kind of cute. I like how small and compact it is. The huge wheels it has are very fun this one also doesn't have that many upvotes though so it will also get a 5 out of 10 and lastly from sardarji we have the avalanche so this is kind of a two-in-one submission here he's got both the car with treads and the car with some heavy duty winter tires this one also works really well i think this one will get an 8 out of 10 from me it's very nice. It has 532 upvotes, which is a good amount of support. However, I do think that the Polaris is going to be the winner for this season. That's going to conclude my discussion of the Season 19 submissions. What do you think? Are you excited for this season? Which submissions are your favorites? Make sure to comment all your thoughts down below.
Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let me know what other content you'd like to see me make next. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.